Hey, it's Dino and Digispin Crypto. Glad you guys made it to the after party. This is where we'll be able to talk about all sorts of good stuff and have fun. Let's play after party and let's see if my stuff is working the way it's supposed to. Uh, let's see here. I'm supposed to be able to click this and hit send. And it shows up! Alright! Hey! We did it right today! Everything's working! It's exciting to see everything working! Alright! <laughs> now, keep in mind, I'm just a guy in a straw hat mumbling at the screen. And uh, so take whatever information you do with it and add it to your collection. Uh, it's not financial advice. I am not that smart. So, uh, let's have a little fun. Let's take a look. Who do we got out here? Oh my gosh, I see all sorts of good stuff. Uh boy, uh, we got uh, just about everybody. All right, so we got uh, Paul. Paul saying, uh, "Hey, it's party time!" <laughs> it's always good to see you out there, Paul. Now, Paul, he won himself a ton of web dollars the other day watching the uh, the web dollar show, the special broadcast that we had. I don't know how many he collected, but it was probably four or five hundred. I don't, I don't know. It was. It was it was, I think it was like 400 or more. I, I don't remember. Maybe you could tell me, Paul, how many you actually won and uh, and make sure that uh, everything went good. We got uh, Dijon8 out there. He's saying, hey, Dino, it's good to see you. Great to see you, Dijon. Uh, it's always good to have a friendly face, and uh, we appreciate you. Let's see. We got MKid out there. MKid says... Uh, he goes, I have bags full of electronium and I like to see other people win coins. So there you go. That's important uh, to win some coins. Now, we obviously take some of the coins that we make from our electronium ASIC, that X3 Bitmain ASIC uh, that I keep squirreled away in my office. And as it makes some coins, I kind of put some to the side uh, just for you guys to put into your pockets. And this way, when it becomes really, really worth uh, a lot of dollars, you'll make some good money out of it. And just uh, hold on to them or spend it on a soda one day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Paul says he's going to let somebody else uh, try to take a crack at it tonight to win some coins. Um, now, keep in mind, you had to have your address put in the last live party. So your web dollar or your electronium address has to be in there uh, for you to win tonight. And I was in the last last live party. And if you're smart enough, you can get to it real quick, put it in, and this way you could be in the contest. I'll check and clear uh, any comments that get hung up and to make sure that you get entered into the contest. Um, <laughs> and kid says. Just to let you know, uh, Paul's going to win every single coin tonight. <laughs> Paul had all the answers last time. I asked questions about Web Dollar, the developer who makes it, uh, the guy on our, on our Telegram channel. Paul had the answers. So uh, it pays to be smart and to pay attention. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so... <laughs> M kid, so M kid saying, hey, maybe Dino did an exit scam because I couldn't find him uh, when we did the show, and uh, <laughs> that's funny. No, M kid, what we do is uh, before we do the the after party, I do a feature presentation uh, where I don't uh, um, take any chat uh, information. I I let it run, but. It, Basically, uh, I kind of just uh, do a, a short meat and potatoes section, and then right after uh, the meat and potatoes, the, the, the feature presentation, uh, I go live to the uh, to the, uh, the to the after party. So maybe what I'll do is I'll set the live show for 9:30, and then I'll set the after party for 10, and this way it might make it a little bit easier to to understand. Um, we got um, Mohammed. Mohammed's out there. Mohammed Hanif. Uh, good to see you. And hello. Glad that you made it. And we got Michael. Um, so Michael's asking uh, questions already. 
And so I'm going to get to that, Michael. Michael's asking what I think about the Square Crypto patent and can it hurt Electronium's patent. So I'm going to leave that up there because I want to get a little housekeeping uh, out of the way first. And then we're going to go back. So obviously, put any questions that you have into the chat so that I can answer those for you um, as we go along tonight. Because this is really all off the cuff and we just have a little fun. Let's move uh, myself over to the side here with a flick of a button and let's take a look now what I do want to tell you guys is a couple of things first one is the giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers originally we were just gonna give away a thousand electronium but the a few guys uh, from the web dollar community uh, gave us some web dollars uh, to give away on the show so we're excited and we thank you web dollar community and the folks that did uh, uh, send those our way and those are gonna go into your pocket so not only are we gonna give away 1000 electronium we are now gonna give away 1000 web dollars when we hit 1000 subscribers so uh, we'll see how long that takes but when it happens uh, those coins will be yours we'll give away 2000 total cryptocurrencies so that's pretty exciting and I'm glad we were going to be able to do that. Let's take a look at a couple of other good things. What we want to do is we want to uh, generate our number. We want to find out how many cryptocurrencies we're going to give away tonight to either Electronium or Web Dollar. And we're going to do that by picking a random number. Uh, we're going to hit that generate button. Three, two, one bang and it says six so six goes to 50 so tonight is 50 uh, cryptocurrencies uh, where's my trusty red pen somebody stole my pen all I got is the blue one. Oh, it's hidden here it is never fear never fear it's here uh, I got my trusty red pen hey, thanks mr. Bean I appreciate that uh, so I'm gonna jot that down it was hidden underneath my X keys pad 50 coins that's what we're giving away today alright now I do want to take a look at the crypt unit um, and while we're going through this obviously put your questions in so that I can hit those for you let's take a look at what the ASIC is doing for us these days you know mining is important and uh, it, it's not as fun as it used to be with the GPUs because uh, you'd be able to whip up some rigs and and try to maximize that and tune them and do all sorts of really good things now it's you, you plug in your ASIC, put in your, your wallet address, and you kind of turn it on. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it just starts working. It's, it's one of the easiest plug-and-play mining devices out there. Uh, but, so the moral of the story is, I'm taking a look at this thing. Um back up to 312 and we're down to 508 electronium so keep in mind once we go below 500 the giveaway is going to be uh, at the show is going to be 10 percent of whatever we make for the day um if we end up doing the show every day if we end up doing a show every other day i'll still be able to hit the the 50 to 100 so I'll let you know as we go along how many uh, we'll give away. But as of right now, we're going to stick with it. Um, you know, dollar-wise, obviously, Electronium's up a bit. Price is, uh, has definitely gone up uh, a tad from where it was at the 0.5. We're at, what, 0.6 now at the moment. So, and you can see um, its increase as that happened. So that allowed me to uh, see a little bit better on the daily earnings. But remember when we were doing this, it was like eight or nine bucks at one time, and we were taking in what 1,300, 1,100 coins a day. Ah, that was a good old days. I have a feeling when Electronium gets really popular, this is going to be even tougher. We're going to be talking maybe a hundred coins a day. I don't know. I sure hope my mobile miner doesn't make more than my ASIC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I'm Michael. I'm not gonna forget your question, but I just wanted to say hello. Uh, we got Marco out there. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Appreciate you stopping by. All right, so let's get to a couple of questions, and then I also want to 
show you something else that I found that on Twitter that was kind of interesting. So Michael's asking me, um, he goes, what do I think about Square's new patent, crypto patent? Okay, so I'm hoping that you guys uh, have had the opportunity to play with Square. I, as a manufacturer and retailer, uh, use Square when we go to trade shows. Uh, it's real easy. I can't bring my point of purchase. And you, you know, sometimes my wife will bring the, the laptop and be able to uh, do a processing on a credit card. But uh, a lot of times we would just use a square, put it on a on a pad, and just slide the card through and and go forth from there. I have to get the new one where you got to put the chip in. But um, Square is very popular here in the United States and they you know they have some really cool features they and you see here now they even have the device where you just uh, touch and go um, to be able to send the information now too and they have a point of sale system that you can put in place for small very small businesses it, you can start up instantly you don't have to it it is a chore a chore to get yourself set up with Visa and MasterCard and with a payment processor. Oh, oh, it's, 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 uh, it's craziness. But the moral of the story is, is that now Square is announcing their patent. Now, I don't, I have not seen anywhere where there's any details on it. However, I, I heard some people talking about that they're actually going to try to do it on the blockchain and guarantee it and I'm not sure how they're going to do that square um, uh, patent crypto let's take a look so yeah a lot of them are just talking about yeah it's going to do it but it doesn't say anything about how the patent is going to work let's let's see what they got here now apparently I don't it says they won the patent I don't know if that means that they've applied and they got a patent pending it doesn't say when they say awarded the patent that means that they've actually got the payment and the patent all right uh, let's see uh, greater diversity they just talk about it yeah specifically the payment services described herein can facilitate real-time or substantially real-time transactions Allowing a customer to pay in any currency of their choice. Um, Alright, so uh, the point of sale says it will allow millions of merchants to accept Bitcoin without having to onboard to another payment processor or manually convert it. So basically what, it, what they're expressing here is, is that uh, they'll take it and then convert it to fiat for you and then send you the, uh, the cash. Now the problem lies is is getting an authorization code um, and waiting for an approval of some type, and they can't do that without infringing on Electronium's uh, patent. the The issue that I see is is that the patent for Electronium was filed in the UK. Obviously, this is filed in the United States, and. I am not an international patent lawyer, so if the patent wasn't filed internationally, this may be able to be done. I don't know. I don't have the answers to this, and it, it definitely uh, leaves it up there for interpretation at the moment. So maybe. Um, some of the questions that I can put into Electronium is to ask them where are the rights for the patent uh, applied and to see if, uh, if, if something like this can infringe. From what I understand, the, the patent should cover um, internationally, but I don't know that for a fact. So I'm going to be doing some research uh, going forward to find out uh, if this infringes on it or is doing it the same way because there's no way for them to give a confirmation without actually having the crypto in their hands 
and um, and and that may be the answer of some type they may require you to upload cryptocurrency um, to square and put it in their wallet and then they'll give you an IOU and this way they know that they have it and then when you go to spend it they'll just uh, deduct it and then throw it on the blockchain it's similar but not exactly the same way as Electronium is doing it and that would be where I think that they're taking this the big advantage to, to Square especially here in the States they got a lot of these things out there and uh, they'll be able to put this in place right away um, and have a, an, an immediate market for it the question really comes down to uh, is are you gonna part with your Bitcoin to go buy a pair of sneakers you know when Bitcoin's really high yeah you might do that because you can maximize your purchasing power when it's low I don't see anybody spending their Bitcoin because they're gonna wait for it to, to increase in value and spend things uh, when it's at, at its peak so you're gonna have a lot of troughs when it comes to Bitcoin and spending it so that's my opinion on all that good stuff and where I, what I think about it all right so uh, Michael's also got another good thing here he's saying also thanks for the Veris coin videos most informative Veris info I saw to date I also agree they need to update their website yeah Michael was uh, was really uh, gracious uh, I, and I really beat him up about his website <laughs> um, I beat him up pretty bad about it uh, luckily uh, they were able to he was able to uh, get me the information or I was able to find uh, the information and uh, to find out about their technology and I and I think they're on to something Mike Michael's a real smart guy uh, Tatangi and he uh, he came up with this uh, uh, this algorithm um, put put it together that uh, uses the ASIC um, hashing section of the microprocessor so basically you know you're running at ASIC speeds on your CPU and uh, with a coordination of the proof of work proof of stake and the delayed proof of work it, it really protects their environment but uh, as Mike is saying here Michael's saying here in the in the chat none of that was on their website and when I went to take a look at it uh, I couldn't find anything and I saw no reason to want to get involved with Veris um, I did do the some mining I threw five uh, Ryzen fives on it and uh, I've made about what 55 coins 56 coins in the last three days and uh, it's only on one exchange at the moment but uh, we'll see hopefully they'll update their website the biggest problem that people have right now with all of these coins if that if it's not clear and easy to understand and if they don't do any marketing their project is gonna go nowhere people have to know about it people have to understand it it has to get out there they have to do stuff to market it uh, or it's gonna be a secret that nobody knows about and it's gonna secretly disappear even though it may be the best technology out there so um, I want to see these guys do good and um, I hope that uh, my feedback might be able to help them in any way that possible so appreciate that Michael all right uh, and <laughs> kisses yeah I figured that out 25 minutes later that uh, the after party comes before after the feature presentation so <laughs> All right. Uh, Paul says, "Yay! Yeah, all you guys are in the clear. I purposely didn't enter to win tonight. Because <laughs> it would be your luck. You would win, Paul. <laughs> I hope you went and bought a lottery ticket the other night <laughs> after you won all those coins. You guys cracked me up. All right. Let's see here. MKID. MKID saying he has 10 ASICs running as, as well and getting about five thousand a day so yeah that 500 coins per ASIC and he's got 10 of them he's gonna be uh, taken in uh, let's go back to crypt unit <laughs> where's my polar pop I got it squirreled away here mm. 
Ugh. All that laughing dries, uh, dries out my mouth. All right, so we got Daryl, Carbo, Electronium. Yeah, so that 508 coins right here. Uh, and he's got 10 of them. That's 5,000 a day. That's that's really spectacular. Congratulations to you for having so many ASICs. Hey, I'm curious. What pool are you using? Are you using Poolin or are you, did you go to uh, one of the other ones? Because Poolin is taking pretty much... The majority of the hashing power on Electronium. I kind of hate that. I'm curious to know there, M kid, what pool are you using? Put it in the chat for me. I'd be interested to see about that. Uh, yeah, M kid says, yeah, and after after electricity costs, I'm making five dollars a day. <laughs> yeah, and it's tough. Um, I keep. I don't. I don't have a whole lot of mach a whole lot. I got. I, I got what about 50 GPUs and the one ASIC. It's it's a hobby setup. It's not a farm by any imagination. And the reason why I, I've kind of stayed there for the moment is that, uh, especially with the cost of electricity, this is important if you're going to be doing mining. Uh, I'm upfronting all of that money for electricity. Most of them are not making enough to cover uh, electricity costs or just barely making enough to cover electricity costs. And so it's really, I um, just wanna collect the coins so that uh, when they, uh, when, this, when this does recover, cause it will recover, uh, a lot of these coins are gonna have a much greater value at that point and then I can cash them in uh, then, but, or, or hold on to them. Like my Electronium, I'm just gonna hold on to for now. So, um, so, you know, the moral of the story is, is that I can cover the costs. You know, if you got thousands and thousands of machines, uh, covering the cost may not be an option unless uh, you got some Bitcoin squirreled away. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So Paul's telling me about, hey, I'm really liking BitTube. Grabbing it while it's cheap and maybe a worthwhile investment. Yep. So I want to tell you about that. Uh, uh, who's that? Uh, you, let's go back to YouTube. And I got the Northeast. Oh, I'll let the, I can kind of show you here. Let's go to my my page here. If you guys notice, there's one more live event already scheduled. And it's with Northeast Texas Technologies and, uh, and myself. Friday, we're going to broadcast live at 9 o'clock, 30 minutes earlier than normal. It'll be at 9 o'clock. And uh, we're going to be talking about mining and uh, all different types of coins. And um, uh, Northeast, he's also a big BitTube guy. Now, I know a lot of them are just starting to get into it. I, I personally, Dino at Digispin Crypto, have been on BitTube for two months now. So um, I have uh, I had preloaded a lot of my videos out there and um, I thought it was kind of neat. I hadn't had the opportunity to bring it to you during that two months because I was still experimenting with it and trying to get live streams. What I'm gonna be doing is uh, simulcasting my, my setup allows me to stream out to not only YouTube but to BitTube at the same time and uh, so I'll simulcast to both locations and uh, you know the cool thing about BitTube as you watch you can earn um, you can earn some coins and obviously uh, makers of content uh, can put it on YouTube and on uh, BitTube and earn uh, some BitTube coins so the going's good right now if you're watching content uh, to watch it on BitTube, get yourself an account and set it up. It'll create a wallet for you. And um, as you watch Digitspin, video, uh, Digitspin uh, Crypto and all the other great guys, uh, you'll earn uh, BitTube. And right now, it, the going is good. You can earn a lot of coins right now. And if they turn into something. Now, um, a couple of, our, of us YouTubers got together and we were able to connect with uh, the admin uh, from Telegram and uh, we're going to uh, be helping each other 
trying to make that happen so that we can provide content to both. So that's an option for you and take a look into it. So that is a, a very good point, Paul. I appreciate you uh, bringing that up. Um, I happen to also uh, snag uh, a couple of thousand BitTube coins. I had sold off some nonsense that I had uh, on a coin and I said, oh, I'm going to squirrel it away in BitTube for now. So. Um, I got those uh, put to the side, never mind whatever it makes or you make. So keep that in mind, that might be something that you may want to do. Okay. MKID says that Square's uh, new logo is a uh, new slogan where your one Bitcoin can spend like two Bitcoin. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll have to see what uh, Square comes up with. It is definitely... Uh, a competitor uh, to what Electronium is doing and well, we'll have to see I'm still waiting for the, uh, the release information for the instant payment so that I can get that into my website um, I want to make that happen and that's on all my websites I'm gonna be including uh, Electronium instant payment so we'll see how that goes uh, Mkid says he's never gonna sell his Bitcoin for anything yeah, I, I think that's kind of, I, I have a tendency to think that you're right. It's going to be many years before you'll start to see people start to, to part with their Bitcoins. It's really going to be um, like a savings account that people are going to put money in. And I, I don't see people parting with, with them, especially as it is now. Um, so dominant over just about everything else that happens in the crypto en environment. So um, I know that um, I keep a, a few machines running a nice hash. I know the laugh, but I do keep them on nice hash. Um, I have maybe I don't know. Uh, I got maybe. 15 GPUs right now just running on nice hash. I keep them on there running different algorithms so that I can kind of see how they're performing and uh, what coins are mining well at the same time. And the other reason is is that it converts it to, to, to Bitcoin for you because the people buying the hashing power have to pay for it in Bitcoin. So they pay you in that Bitcoin. And, um, and, it, and nice hash usually is up in the higher it's not the maximum profit potential, but it, it's usually in the, in the top five uh, to use. And uh, so I just let it squirrel away, uh, you know, the coin, you know, the fractions of a Bitcoin that I earn, the, the, the tens of thousands of a, of a fraction. But I let it squirrel away and, and I'm not going to touch those. Uh. <laughs> Collecting too much Varus can lead to Varus Coast veins. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 come up with this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, you want to know me. Hey, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while, mister. You want to know me. <laughs> I'm glad you made it to the show. All right, mister, you want to know me. says, uh, do you think Electronium should own an exchange as well as partner with a bank to be able to quickly exchange cryptocurrency into dollars or fiat. Um, I know that is the route that some of these coins are taking. And here's the thing, we're, everything that's happening right now is an experiment. It's like the United States, it's made of 50 states and each one can do its own kind of thing. And some of them will end up going broke and some like California because they give away all their money. Uh, some of them, uh, like Florida, doesn't charge sales tax and doesn't collect any state tax on people. Uh, New York uh, has uh, 50 different people plus six unions putting their hands in your pocket. Um, you know, and, and, you know, some have uh, different laws for capital execution and gun holding rights and. And it's an experiment and you get to see which ones actually work and which ones make them go broke. And, uh, and I think crypto is basically kind of reminds me of that where there's going to be a lot of different um, uh, pathways 
to possible success and potential success, I th I believe that um, some of the stuff that has to happen is the banks are going to buy cryptos and the cryptos are going to buy banks. That there has to be a stitch, there has to be a pipeline uh, produced. Everything can't go through Coinbase. That's uh, that's idiotic. So um, that I believe is is important. Now, can Electronium do that? I don't believe that they've. I'm not smart enough to know whether or not they have enough money squirreled away in their bank account to be able to do something like that, even if it is a sizable uh, equity uh, of the of the bank, uh, you know, a percentage of the bank. But um, I'm not sure they're going to go that route. I think that they will find partners that can make those types of things happen for them. Electronics is relatively small. There's not a whole lot of people that work there, and um, so it's it's going to be built as it goes type of thing. But it, it needs to go, and as soon as it gets going, um, it'll start to generate funds. Uh, the, uh, you'll see transactions happening, and as they start to do that, they can start to put in some charges and what have you, and, and have a a uh, a line of income so that the, the company can actually produce money uh, by doing some of the transactions, you know, maybe five years into the future or something. Um, and what else we got here? Uh, uh, yeah, and then an exchange. Well, I know Web Dollar, they're just building their own exchange. <laughs> but Electrum doesn't have the problem. They're on plenty of exchanges. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever not to be able to get your hands on Electronium. They're, it's just about in every exchange. Um, and and then there's a lot of them that, uh, a lot of, uh, that most folks have touched in some way, fashion, or form. So I don't think that that's a problem for Electronium. Um, I want to see Electronium uh, produce the stuff that they talked about and get it out. And... You know, it's a fine line too. You know, Richard was talking about how he has uh, these relationships set up with some vendors to be able to take Electronium into the future. And there are things that they have to get done to make that relationship work. Now, I, I noticed some other coins, you know, Dash or whatever, they, they've got their, their wallet installed in, on some bizarre phone network. And there's no KYC, no nothing, and they're just doing it. Um, whether or not that's going to end up biting those coins in the behind is yet to be seen. What I can tell you is, is that it's taking a little bit longer with Electronium. But they're doing everything the right way so that it won't uh, backfire. And it'll be a extremely robust foundation to build on uh, if, if everything is audited everything is kyc everything is done to regulatory standards it'll be a lot easier to get the big guys you know and that's the reason why you know dash probably got it on you know joe's uh, joe's uh, phone service uh because you know joe probably didn't really care um but the fact of the matter is is electronic is doing everything right so that there won't be a repeat or a rebuild. So um, I'm just hoping that process can, uh, that they can still beat others to the punch because it would be nice to, to get in there. Uh, but even if there's you know four or five uh, coins that are able to do these things, but there's so many different ways to go about uh, moving into the future. We're gonna find out which ones work and which ones don't. It's, it's literally all experimental at this stage. Some are going to survive and do really well. Some may not. And those that didn't do anything, uh, I'm not talking about Electronium, I'm not talking about Dash or any of these others that are actually making things happen and talking about that they're making it happen. I'm talking about the other coins that are <clears throat> Dogecoin or whatever or, or some of these other crazy coins that there's nobody behind, there's nobody driving it. it it's just kind of running itself. Um you know, I'm not sure where those will end up. I, I can't imagine 
if, if there's nobody driving it forward, it falls behind. That's in New York. In New York, I used to always say that. If you're not moving and you're not walking and you're not doing something, then uh, people pass you up and that means uh, you're falling behind if you're not keeping up and doing something. So Dijon saying also liquids coming out on, on September, uh, 4th of September. So um, yeah, that, that's going to be a, a, another nice uh, notch in the walking stick of electronium and uh, liquid is a comp as a um, compilation company uh, that moved forward and so liquid i have a feeling is going to be relatively large and robust so uh, that'll be pretty good stuff h bomb h bomb saying sorry i'm late that's uh, uh, unacceptable <laughs> somebody grab that guy <laughs> hey call cousin tony H bombs late, nah. <laughs> so M kid saying that uh, he's uh, mining his ASICs on Space Pool, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Space Pool, and they're not the the greatest, uh, but they're uh, probably number two or three. Um, pooling is, is is just everybody for some reason takes their ASIC and puts it on pooling. <sighs> You know, the last thing I want is pooling to have all the hash power. So, um, no matter what they are. So, yeah, I'm with you, Space Pool. Congratulations to you, M Kid, for doing that. Uh, we'll go from there. Let's see here. You want to know me? He's asking. Uh, boy, you guys got more questions up here. Um, are you also worried that Electronium price has gone down so much? Will it affect Electronium productivity and running costs? So. Um, no, I'm not, as far as the price of Electronium, what I, what I measure my success, and this is what works for the, for the crazy guy in the straw hat, uh, who's mumbling right now at you uh, on the screen. From my perspective, um, all I care about is the quantity of coins right now. I am not worried about price, um, at this point. Um, now. What I what I do get concerned about, and it's probably a question I'm gonna see if I can get posed to the Electronium team, is that when they went to ICO, obviously uh, they raised money and it was a, a token at the time, and it was probably you know on uh, on Ethereum. So all that uh, all those coins that were raised, I'm curious to know um, if they're still sitting on those coins. Or did they cash them out at a, at a prior point uh, and put that money in the bank so that they have operating funds uh, to keep them running forward? Now, the guys at Electronium are, are, are real smart. So I'm assuming that they have uh, cash on hand to be able to move things forward. Because, for example, if you had, if you raised, I don't know what the numbers were, but Let's say if you, you, and this has happened to many other coins. If they raised 100 million and uh, at the peak it went to 200 million, and if they were smart enough, they sold some of them. And, uh, but now it's come down, and now that $100 million raised is only $25 million. So you're going to have some coins that are going to be, uh, you know, concerned that they're not going to have the funds to keep their projects running. So um, that would be my only concern. Uh, and, it, and it only really comes down to coins that feel that they have to part with their Ethereum right now to keep them the doors open. Uh, and that doesn't seem to be the case with Electronium. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they said that they had enough funds to keep things running uh, for quite a while uh, in cash. So. Um, I, I don't believe that this to be a problem and it has nothing to do with the price of electronium it has to do with uh, the crypto market and how the capital was initially raised to run the companies so no as far as electronium price as of right now I, I, and this goes I'm going to tell you this has it has to do with all the cryptos I there's none of them that are really making me and just barely making me enough to keep the machines running and it don't matter what coin i'm mining right now i i promise you i'm sure the best coins right now you know ethereum 
Ethereum Classic, um, Monero, Ravencoin gets up there once in a while. Um, uh, these coins, uh, Loki's been doing pretty good too. All of them, which are the top coins to mine, and they're barely just covering costs right now. So uh, that's my thoughts on that. I hope I answered your question. All right. So, um, Okay, so we're down 95% since highs, just like every other coin. Uh, at this point, if we drop another 95 cent, we'll be okay. Um, if, if, if Electronium was to drop to five Satoshis, I will buy them all. <laughs> so, so don't worry about it. And I'm sure that I know a lot of other people that would buy every single one of them. Um, yeah, that, to, to go for another 95% down, you're talking, uh, you know, we're at what, 90 Satoshis, you're talking like a five, it, it'll never get that low. It's just not gonna get that low. Don't, don't sweat that. That's not gonna happen. There's too many people that will jump on them. All right. Yeah, and, and, and he's saying that, them kids saying that Square may end up with double spend issues. Yeah, well, they'll only end up with the double spend if it's a blockchain to blockchain transaction and if they file the patent you can't file a patent saying that you're going to use the blockchain that's kind of idiotic well and what i think they're going to do is like the uh, visa mastercard folks they're going to tell you to preload your crypto into their system so visa mastercard's going to let you they're going to give you a credit line like the visa mastercard payment they're going to give you a credit line they're going to say hey do you know you're worth a thousand dollars Here's a credit card. So I go out and I buy a TV, 500 bucks. Well, I'm gonna get my bill and I'll be able to pay the bill with crypto. All right, so this is an after the fact situation. And so I send in the money, I send in the crypto, it pays off um, the bill on the credit line. So that has nothing to do with actually transacting with crypto it's just letting you pay the bill in crypto uh, the square um, they're gonna have to require you to put your crypto into their system and give it to them and they'll give you an IOU say and you know you have uh, one Bitcoin uh, worth of value and then you can then go purchase because then they can uh, deduct it out of your wallet that they own that they are in possession of and send the they'll what they'll do is they'll deduct the amount they'll transfer it into uh, fiat and then they'll send that to the to the vendor that's the only way square can pull it off totally different than uh, than electronium electronium's instant payment system you get to keep control of your funds at all times you get to keep your keys because electronium's instant payment is is brilliant and there's nothing else like it and it allows me to keep my possession of my funds. I don't have to give it to them in advance. So I can be moving it around, doing things with it, rubbing it, touching it, licking it, whatever I want to do with, with those coins. If they're there, I get to spend them. If they're not there, I don't get to spend them. The only difference is, is that the vendor is getting Electronium, where the vendor with uh, Square and Visa MasterCard are going to get fiat and so first world countries are gonna see that as a benefit because the last thing they want is is chances most vendors today i'm not talking 10 years from now today don't want the crypto they can't use it they can't pay their employees with it they can't go buy the materials or go to sony and get and fill the shelves with more Sony Walkmans. Boy, that shows my age, right? Holy smoke, Sony Walkman. Um, they can't put product on the shelves with crypto today. They need fiat. So um, there's two different solutions going on here. And uh, we'll have to see what turns out the best as we go along. All right. <laughs> Paul says, yeah, I'm in New York, and they just taxed this posting. <laughs> yeah, in New York, they, 
Oh, I used to live in, I lived in New York for 25 years. Holy smokes. They, they put their hands in your pocket. I was making $100,000 a year in New York and I couldn't pay my bills. <laughs> it was working in Manhattan. By the time the city got some, the state got some, the feds took some. Uh, there was some left over, then they, they, they snagged you with the sales tax and everything you purchased. You know, I think out of all the money that you make, if you get to keep about 40% of it, you're lucky. <laughs> Okay, you want to know me, says, uh, I misunderstood. He goes, I meant Electronium to own an exchange to be able to have multiple cryptocurrencies on an ETN wallet platform for an easy transfer uh, from ETN to another cryptocurrency. Um, you know, only Web Dollar is kind of crazy enough to create their own <laughs> exchange. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I'm go to it, guys. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this turns out for them. And um, I'm, I'm excited and terrified at the same time that they're going to create their own exchange. Um, Electronium, I don't foresee them. Richard has never mentioned anything to take the company in that direction. So I, I don't see them doing that. There are plenty of exchanges to do that. Um, the, some of the exchanges that were, you know, like Next and Liquid, We'll be able to have fiat pairing directly with Electronium, and that's the answer there. So, um, um, Electronium doesn't need to own that to, for that to happen. All right. So, <laughs> HPOM goes, I'm curious about Know Your Customer. Would those in undeveloped nations have sufficient identification to get involved with Electronium? That's a fascinating question. Good for you. Um, wow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. If you're in the after party, you're obviously here because you're enjoying yourself. Hit the like button. Don't get chintzy on me. All right, next. Uh, so that is a good question. You know, guy who doesn't have shoes doesn't have a driver's license. <laughs> There's got to be some kind of form of ID or paperwork that they that the state issues these guys, whether it's a birth certificate. Mm. Um, I don't have an answer for that, and that's a fascinating question to me. I would tend to think, because I don't know if the KYC is going to be done at the electronium level or at the location where the phone company is, um, so that's a, um, that's a quandary because uh, I would imagine there would be a percentage of the people that would not have ID that would qualify under British law and I may just not be smart enough to know that to be true. There's got to be s the state of, of, of wherever they are has, has to have some kind of ID. They have to be able to count people and census them. And there's got to be something that they have that would qualify. So I would bet on that there is something that can be done to do that. But that doesn't take away from the fascination of the question. Yeah, I'm going to look into that more. Um, definitely, I'm going to look into that some more. All right. Let's see here. We got... Um, H-Bomb's curious. He goes, I'm curious about running costs. If it becomes unsustainable to cover the cost, then would the majority of ASICs that keep the blockchain running s smooth depart from Electronium? Well, the problem is, is the ASICs, whether you have an X3 or an N series from uh, Bicle uh, um, or, or some other company, um, there's a limited amount of locations that you can actually use the unit. All right, let's go back to this. I go back to Crypt Unit. I can use my ASIC on Darrow. I get. 11 coins a day. I'm only gonna do it 11 coins a day. 11 coins a day. Carbo. 21 coins a day. I can put it on Electronium and get 500. 
Um, there's Newton. I think that's new. I haven't seen that one, Newton. That one, you well, obviously it must be new because it looks like you can get 300,000 Newton coins a day. That's 8 million a month. I'm going to look into that because that might be something I just squirrel a couple away. <laughs> get a get 100,000 and just put them away. I don't know what Newton is. I'm going to look into this one. But uh, the moral of the story is, you know, buy coin. You get 800 coins a day. There's not a whole lot of places that you can use um, use the, the machine. And so, you know what, there's five here. It can't be used anywhere else. So you have to put it on something or, or shut it down. So either you don't use it at all. And people like myself, maybe one to ten miners, you could kind of cover the costs of the difference of electricity. Um, you know, that's viable to be able to cover the costs. Anything bigger than that, you've got to sell. And whether you're selling other coins that you've squirreled away, hopefully, if you're new, there's no way to be profitable. If I had a thousand GPUs and I was bringing them online now and I just paid for them, I couldn't make any money. You got overhead, you got building costs on top of that, like... Never mind your electricity, your employee, you know, your, your, your employee, or you, you, you would not be able to cover your costs. It would be really tough. You would have to be doing this yourself. So, um, you know, I'm not even sure they would go online until the prices came back up. Uh, you know, people such as myself, you know, I, I have no problem if I, I, I have no intention of selling the coins. I'm holding on to them. So, I'm covering all the costs, but how I look at it is, if I was to purchase those coins, um, it would cost me just a little bit more to purchase them. So I'm getting them a little bit cheaper by just paying the electric bill. And uh, I get to write off the electric. I can't, you know, I can't write off the, the purchase of them. So electric is utilities. I get to write that off on my business, as, you know, those utilities. So there's a big benefit to go that direction uh, so you know if you're doing this and you're trying to make money with it and you have a reasonable amount you know make sure you have a business so you can write it off um, I hope I answered your question if not let me know again it says uh, me and Dino will keep the entire uh, network running <laughs> if all the a6 leave absolutely I am never gonna shut down my, my a6 they're gonna have to come in here by by gunpoint or evict me or do something they <laughs> for me to shut it off, right, Mr. Bean? <laughs> yep, Mr. Bean said, absolutely. I ain't having shutting them off. Mm. I'm leaving my... Uh, I think the only time I would probably move my, uh, my ASIC over is if my smartphone was making more money than my ASIC. <laughs> was making more coins than the ASIC. And then I would probably move it to something else. Uh. That <laughs> <laughs> and kid goes, my wife called up the TV show Hoarders because she says I'm an electronium hoarder. <laughs> I have to, I have to eventually, I want to say hello to my wife. I don't know if she's out there watching me tonight. Uh, she's, uh, she thinks I am literally insane uh, playing with invisible money <laughs> and spending all this time and energy. She just looks at me, she goes, well... You keep saying it's going to be worth something. Show me the money. Show me the money. And I, there's no way I'm going to sell this stuff just to entertain at a, at a low position, just to entertain her quizziveness of wanting to show me the money. I, I, she goes, well, it's on the screen, but I don't see no money. I don't see no money. <laughs> I take a beating <laughs> from my wife. I'm like, well, it's going to be worth something one day, you know? <laughs> yeah, she thinks I'm, she just thinks I am absolutely nuts. Nuts. That's the only way I can explain it. She thinks I'm nuts. Um. kid puts it up on the screen if something goes wrong with the web dollar exchange they'll have to change their name from web dollar to web penny <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys 
make me laugh my my socks off. <laughs> All right, this Sergeant the Marine, Sergeant Marine saying, "Hey, you listen to me, you maggot. Stay patient, electronic community. We're hitting the freaking home stretch in the next bull run. You got it, there, soldier." <laughs> Yeah, Sergeant Marines, I am 100% with you. <laughs> what is that, Ermi? Yeah, Ermi, Ermi died. Oh, man, but I used to love listening to him berate somebody. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Stay patient. All crypto, you've got to stay patient. We are in the, that little curtain swing, and uh, we're at our low point. All I'm doing is accumulating as much as that I physically can without extending myself in other words I'm, I'm i'm trying to accumulate as many cryptocurrencies i can with with uh, with either mining or or funds that i can afford to lose so that it doesn't affect my life so i could care less what the price is i don't even worry about it i go oh, all right that's nice what else i got going on you know if there's a difference, and, and, and I, I was talking to uh, Crypto NWO the other day on Telegram, and we were talking about you know some, you know some people invested a higher amount and they've, they've lost it, and I go well, if if they're really sweating that it's not good to lose to, to to show a value on the screen that's less than you put in today. We all know that it's going to go back up. It's because it's not going anywhere, so it's going to go back up. It always has. It's still in an upward trajectory, crypto as a whole. Now, it just takes time. Now, having said that, I said, you know, you get some of these people that, that, that get upset and they start lashing out. It's because they invested more than they could afford to lose, so they're panicking. And that's what happens. Um... And, and it comes down to whether or not you're an investor or you're a better. In other words, you're gambling. If you're a better in gambling and your horse doesn't win, you start cursing and screaming, you go over and you want to kick the horse or you want to punch the boxer in the face, that's because you're betting. You're betting on a big score and you're not going to get a big score. Those, even the folks that have all these Bitcoins, it took them eight years. They were mining this stuff when it was worthless and a complete waste of time. They had no idea if it would be in, people would get involved with it or if, if it was even tradable until the guy traded it for some pizzas. And it took eight years before you know it, it started to do something of value. All right? So, if you're a gambler, you're going to be upset and if your horse doesn't come in. If you're an investor and you're putting in what you know you can afford to lose, if I, lo if I lost all my coins today, it wouldn't affect my lifestyle in one bit. That's the place you want to be in at all times. All right? All right. So, yes. Stay tough, because it changes. It always does. All right, let's see. You want to know him. He's asking me a question here. He goes, I mean, if a person goes to a store and buys a car, and the car is worth $20,000, and they have $5,000 or 5000 worth on, a, uh, on electronium and 10000 in Bitcoin and 5000 in Tron, electronium should give the option to hold the other cryptocurrencies on their wallet. Yes, Electronium is. Part of the Electronium patent is instant payments, subscriptions for Electronium, and every other coin. So what's going to happen is Electronium is going to be, is going to have to modify their wallet at some point and their wallet is going to allow for the inclusion of certain key coins they're not going to cover every coin is they're going to look at where the values or where people would want to use it so they may add bitcoin you know bitcoin cash if it still exists and doesn't break up into a thousand pieces um you know they may add ethereum they, they may add the ethereum classic uh, they may add dash they may whatever it is they're going to pick 
and add um, those cryptocurrencies to the Electronium wallet. So you'll be able to transfer uh, your Bitcoin to Electronium to, and it'll show up my Electronium. I'll be able to pick through you know, the different coins. I'll see my Electronium balance. I'll see my, my Bitcoin balance. I'll see my Ethereum Classic balance or Ethereum balance. Uh, you know, I'll see my uh, what, whatever. Okay. And um, I'll be able to then pick from whatever one of those uh, wallets and send, you know, 10,000 Bitcoins and, you know, 10,000 in uh, Electronium and uh, then that'll transfer and, and they'll get a instant payment uh, notification uh, that it's accepted and, and vice versa. So yes, Electronium already stated that that's how it's going to work. <clears throat> the physical GUI, you know, I can't tell you how the physical GUI, I would imagine something like that. But uh, they've already stated that they will include all the other coins at some point. And obviously they've got to get the Electronium up and working and running. I think that uh, you may see other coins probably... If I was to guess, and this is just, I mean, literally a complete, I have no clue what I'm talking about guess. I would tend to think that that would happen. Uh, you'll start to see other coins probably this time next year or the end of next year, probably fourth quarter of 2019. Uh, before they'll start to add other coins to their wallet. That's my personal opinion. Nobody else's. Alright. Uh, HHBomb says, ha, ah, show me the money. Uh, okay, Sergeant of the Marine says, that's a great observation. You want to know me. Yeah, you don't want to know me. He was talking about. Alright, so... And Kid says he said he sold uh, close to uh, 10,000 Bitcoin that I mined back in 2013 at $100 each. The lesson in life is don't be an idiot. <laughs> like Eric Kid. Wow, really? You sold 10,000 at $100? Yeah, but see, you never knew what the cost was going to be back then. You had no idea it was going to go anywhere. And $100? I mean, somebody's going to give me $100 for this nonsense that nobody wants, and nobody's using, and nobody's doing anything with? shoot I'll take it but um, yeah you, you, you don't know but what I can tell you is I know I, I can see the trajectory I see where it's going I see all the investments that are happening from banks and infrastructure that's being put together and people that are getting hired left and right this is gonna blow up well beyond I mean a hundred times what it is now minimum I, you know, five years from now, you're five years from now, you're going to look back and go, I can't believe that Electronium was at a penny at one time or, or, you know, Bitcoin was at six grand. You're going to be laughing just like now. And kids going, geez, I can't believe I sold. I sold my Bitcoin for a hundred bucks. <laughs> Hey, we got Chris Morgan out there. Congratulations. He said that uh, he finally made a show. <laughs> we appreciate you did. We're coming towards the end. Hey, let's give away some cryptocurrency. Um, let's do that here. We got to... I got to go find that video here. So what we want is the after party from... Oh, I got to go to my channel. That helps, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, let's go to my, and then I'm gonna slide down here to where I have the live broadcasts, and I'm gonna see the after party. I am going to uh, pause that video. I am going to share and copy, and we're going to let's see if I can find <clears throat> a random number. Now I thought I pause this. Let's let's do that. Okay. Let's go to our random. I'm gonna put that in here. Now fifty electronium fifty web dollars was what we we're giving away today. Let's find out who's gonna win that. I got the video loaded up. We're gonna enter. We entered it, and I'm gonna tell it to find. Um, we got only eight eight people that qualify. 
and let's hope that they put an electronium or web dollar address into their comment and the answer is and we have Charles Gamlin again and Charles won the other day and so this is like a two for one and just make sure that I'm not spazzing out here yep 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 we did everything right yep so uh, Charles this is his win number two for Charles and congratulations to uh, to Charles Gamlin we'll send out 50 electronium to you and we hope that we had a, a lot of fun today so um, everybody saying thanks we appreciate it congrats Charles and this is awesome hey guys thank you I appreciate you hanging out with me today on the live party I have a lot of fun you guys make me laugh this is you know therapeutic I think they charge a hundred dollars an hour to laugh this much uh, someplace else <laughs> I appreciate all you guys uh, drop me a like and uh, obviously make sure in this video you put your the electronium or web dollar address so you can win the, on the next live after party I gotta have some balloons that go up so we can have an after party balloons and stuff I gotta add confetti all sorts of stuff hey thanks guys <laughs>